Bonjour, welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. This one is going up on a Saturday, so if you guys are having a good weekend so far, we do have a big live stream coming up later on tonight. So make sure to subscribe, hit the notification button. That'll let you know when it starts up. So today, I have multiple secrets to show off, including what I believe is the biggest mystery in Santini. On top of that, something very strange has been discovered. It is found on a tree. So I have to show you guys this. I really need your help. And then I've also been getting reports of a ringing phone here in the town as well. So this is very interesting. It is not around here. Of course, we're right next to the saloon. There's another phone that can be found on the top floor, but there's a phone that is on the east side of the city. People have said that they can hear it ringing. We need to find the phone and figure out who's on the other side. Now, I've been looking at this one and I've noticed that it never rings. Shout out to a member of the Trippy fam, one of our mods, Melanie, who pointed this out to me. So I've been looking at it waiting to see if it would ring and it's not ringing at all. Maybe it's not even working. Just so you know, the telephone patent in the United States was created in 1871. And as you guys probably know, Red Dead Redemption 2 takes place in 1899, which means this one is probably a very early model. I don't even think it's working. Lady, have you ever heard this phone ring before? I've been up here plenty of times. I've taken many baths. The deluxe bath is very classy here in Saint Denis. But the phone does not work. Should we shoot it? Damn it. Maybe this will work. No. Oh, no. Let her go, Arthur. Oh, my gosh. Rockstar, you may need to look at these controls. Holy cow. I'm just trying to shoot the phone. Why does it auto aim? Okay, so clearly nothing is happening, guys. Like I said, let me know if you can find the other phone or if you heard it ring. Hit me up on Twitter at TrippyComps. I'll put a link in the description. But we've been looking at the biggest mystery in this city. There's a vampire. You have to find five messages. Now, those messages create a very interesting symbol that links up to another massive secret that we just uncovered here at the channel. So I'll show you guys what the hidden messages create and where it will lead us to. Stop shooting us. That's it. Let's get into the episode and start it off with a bang. One more reason why I'm trying to find the phone is because I think it could be Thomas Edison who is calling it. We already have the Nikola Tesla Easter egg with Marco Dragic and the Tesla Tower, so it would make sense if his rival is also in the game Thomas Edison. So here is the mysterious writing. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. You have to find five of them. and It's really not about the writing itself and what it says. It is about the symbol that they create. It is a five-pointed star, and we just looked into the hidden symbol at Butcher Creek. It is a glowing five-pointed star that only shows up at 4 o'clock a.m. So the fact that we just investigated that symbol, and now I unlock the vampire, which also has the star, we have to bring the vampire to Butcher Creek, and it really could be the vampire himself who put the curse on the town, or at least put that glowing star there. Why else would Rockstar put the glowing star right there in Butcher Creek. So we're gonna take the vampire there. I'll first show you the encounter with the vampire himself, and I'll show you what happens when we took him there because it looks like there's some sort of trigger that happens when you sacrifice him on the star. You may have seen this before, but this is the Red Dead Redemption 2 version of Dracula. One interesting thing that he says, guys, is that he is among the undead. So the fact that he mentions undead leads me to believe that he might have something to do with the Undead Nightmare. After all, you can find the Undead Nightmare mask from Red Dead Redemption 1 in the Santony fence, which is not too far away from the vampire himself. Now, one other thing to keep in mind, if you guys want to do this for yourself, he will take you out immediately. If he even gets one finger on you, whether it be with his knife or just punches you, you're dead just instantly. So be careful. Take caution when you're around the vampire. Another sign that Rockstar made it very hard to capture him just to take him all the way to Butcher Creek. Now, it is cool, though, because normally if you kidnap other people, the law, if they see you riding around with somebody on the back of your horse, of course, they'll try to stop you. But with the vampire, you can take him wherever you guys want. So there we go. We grabbed the vampire, tied him up, and we took him to Butcher Creek. Now, I actually pulled this off in the live stream. And like I said, it seems like a trigger happened as soon as we eliminated him. So I'm going to turn up the audio from the live stream. You guys got to hear the reaction. And more importantly... Listen to the rhythm, some sort of drum beat that happened instantly when we took his life. Here goes nothing. You can see how the shack is formed. We can put the guy right here on the pentagram. Here, I'm going to center him a little bit. All 
All right, here goes nothing. Um, I say we use a um, say we use a throwing knife. All right, stay trippy. Oh, Jesus! Here he goes. Is it making a sound effect? What the heck? You hear that? I'm gonna turn up the audio for you guys. I don't know if I've ever heard that one before. It's like some weird drumming. Where's the knife? There it is. Morning dagger. Hey, okay, where's this demented? I hear the goat. Hmm. That was trippy. Now it went away. Apocalyptic Crane said, yeah, the music just changed. I'm going to turn down the audio. That was really weird. There you have it. That was a trigger, especially because the music stopped as soon as we walked away from the vampire. It was some sort of melodic drumming. I have not heard that before. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Also, hit the like button. That is much appreciated. That really helps out the video. So next, I have to show off something that Retro Joe pointed out to me. You can find it above Wallace Station, right here on the side of the trail. It looks like a tree with pots and pans that are pinned to it. Have you guys noticed this before? What is this? has to be pointing something out man we've seen all kinds of things even dead people pinned to trees but never pots and pans now one thing that i saw was not too far away is whatever this is so i guess we'll walk out there maybe it's some sort of a secret but thanks again for watching the video guys i really hope you enjoyed it i have so much to show off i have a notepad which is filled right now so stay tuned i have a lot more videos on the way and of course we have exclusive live streams right here with the trippy fam okay so it's another random chimney what does this mean i guess a house was here but somehow it was destroyed sometimes you can find secrets in the chimney maybe there's something else here guys let me know if you can find anything you guys can join up on both ps4 and xbox one i'll be on both consoles and we'll be in gta online we are going to have an air show pretty soon so buy your jet buy your blimp maybe think of a routine we're going to have the first ever air show here at Trippy Commentaries. And the winner will get a huge prize. Stay tuned, everybody. Another episode will be going up tomorrow. Until then, as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?